So why did I choose content over building a SaaS product or an app as my side hustle when I'm a software developer and I could build an app myself if I wanted to? I decided to make this video because I know a lot of people who watch my content are learning how to code because they wanna make money and they probably are trying to get a job as a developer and they're trying to just basically learn a skill that can make them more money. And I often get comments where people ask me like, why am I making content? Like, why don't I go and make my own app? When I started thinking of side hustle ideas, I obviously considered building an app because why wouldn't I? An app or a website that could make me some money was on the top of my list, but I chose to go with content first and there's a few reasons why I did that. And the first reason that I jotted down here as I look at my, my notes is that I thought it would take less time to get started with content. And while it does take less time to get up and running versus building an app or a SaaS product, in the long run, you still spend a shit ton of time creating content, especially if you're editing your own videos, if you're doing YouTube and you, you have to record your videos, if you're doing a podcast and you have to record your audio, that's time that you have to dedicate to doing that. If you have enough money to where you can hire an editor to do all that work, then that's fine. But for the first two years of this channel, I've, I've edited all my videos and I still edit some of my videos and I just hired a full-time editor. So I, you know, out of 200 videos I've created, I've edited almost all of them. And that's very time consuming. When I started this YouTube channel, I created a blog and that blog, I wrote a few articles and then I realized that I just didn't have the time to commit to that. But I was able to hire writers for that and I outsourced some of that work. And that kind of goes into the next part of why I decided to go with content instead of software as my side hustle was that it's a lot cheaper and a lot easier to outsource content than it is to outsource software. A decent or good software developer is very expensive and they're, they're just not that easy to find. You can find a lot of shitty software developers, but you can't find a lot of good cheap software developers versus like an editor or writer. You can find a lot of good editors and writers who are affordable and very reasonable in price. So while this stuff may be as time consuming as creating an app would be, it, it's a lot easier to spend a little bit of money in order to speed that process up with content than it is with software. The next thing is I lacked ideas for apps or SaaS products. I, I didn't have a good idea to start building something for, but I felt like I had good ideas for content right away. I knew that I could share my story with learning how to code on YouTube. My blog is not coding related, or at least my first blog is, and I created a second blog that is, but my first blog was just kind of a, another passion of mine that I created a blog for. And I had a whole bunch of ideas for that as far as content went, but I couldn't think of an app for that niche. So it was just a lot easier for me to start writing blog articles on that niche. And when it came to doing stuff for people who are self-taught developers, I didn't have an app idea for that. I, I couldn't think of anything. Now I have a few and I'm working on them, or I, I at least have them written down as ideas and, I'm, and they're in the back of my mind. But at the time I knew that I could share my experience with learning how to code and becoming a developer with people on YouTube. And I knew that I could immediately start making content on that. And the thing is, is that many times we get caught up with trying to have the perfect idea that we end up not executing on it. And I was worried that if I sat around trying to come up with a good software idea, I would have stayed in that procrastination, brainstorming loop, and I would have never executed the software product that I could have potentially one day came up with and done. And here's another thing too, right? Is that a lot of people think that the the big money is in software. Many people think that if if you build the, the unicorn startup, you're gonna make a ton of money. And yeah, it's true. But the, the thing is that a lot of SaaS products and app ideas and niche websites that most people build are small and they, they tend to start small. And while they can be lucrative and they, they make you good money, those million dollar apps or, or those billion dollar apps aren't that common and you have to build up up to that. And content creation can be fairly lucrative as well. And with content, I felt that I could start making money a little bit faster than I could with a SaaS product or with an app idea, because there's a lot that goes into those things. You need to worry about solving a specific problem for a group of people and then being able to monetize that. And with content, I felt that I had a lot of value that I could bring. I knew that there was a community of people out there on the internet who needed content
content about learning how to code because I myself consumed content like the content that I'm creating now when I was learning how to code. So I knew that there was a market for it. And that's why content just seemed like the right choice when I decided to pick a side hustle. Also reach, right? With content, if you build a following, you now have people that you can market your products to if you do in fact build something that they need or build something that they want. It's capitalism. Now that I've built a following and I have an audience and people who trust me, I have reach to be able to sell something to a group of people that I know that I can provide value to. I'm just trying to be honest and if we're talking about money and we're talking about side hustles, that's just a reality of it. But just know that I am never gonna try to sell you guys garbage. I will always try to sell stuff that I think will bring you value or you'll like and enjoy. And the last thing on this list is that I, I spend eight hours a day sitting in front of my computer, writing code, dealing with bugs, implementing features, working for a business that pays me to write code. At that time, two years ago, when I decided to start making content, I didn't feel like writing code on my free time. And YouTube seemed really fun. I enjoyed editing videos. I have a little experience behind the camera and in front of the camera before I started a YouTube channel. I did a little acting when I was younger. So I felt like I was a little bit more comfortable in front of the camera, which honestly I wasn't because I look back at my old videos and it's fucking cringe. Hey guys, thanks for dropping in and checking out my video. And it felt like creating content was gonna be a lot more fun than writing code. And now after I've done content for a while and I'm able to outsource some of my editing, I actually wanna start writing more and I'm thinking about starting a personal blog and I'm actually gonna start probably writing some of the articles for the blogs that I do have because I like writing and I haven't been able to write because I've been making YouTube videos and I've been doing all of the editing. But now since I'm outsourcing a lot of the editing, I'm gonna have more free time to do some of those things. And these are things that I enjoy. And at the end of the day, if you want a side hustle that you can do for a while, you wanna do something that you enjoy. So with all that said, I hope that you found value in this. If you're trying to figure out a side hustle and you're a developer and you're debating on building something or doing content, just go with whatever you feel like you wanna do. And as long as you put in the work, you can make it work. All right, with all that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.